Francis, uh, many people today are very excited about the thought of uh, finding intelligent life beyond Earth. Uh, as a scientist and as a believer, what are your thoughts about the implications of such a exploration if we find li life or if we don't? Um, as a scientist, uh, Robert, I'm intensely curious. It, it would be a wonderful, amazing sort of transformation of our appreciation of what the universe is like to know if there's other life out there. And I'd want to know what's it like and what's its molecular basis. Does it have DNA, for instance? <laughs> or is there some other information molecule that's uh, used in some other planet? Or you'd try to decode that one right away. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> uh, that would be an interesting project, wouldn't it? Uh, at the same time, I know that our ability to answer that question is pretty limited. The Drake equation would tell us that the likelihood of being able to actually answer this question is an unknowable and may remain so for some time. As a believer, I don't see that this is a particularly difficult religious question. I believe in a God who created the universe and who made it possible for creatures in that universe to arrive on the scene uh, that he could have fellowship with, which includes uh, you and me. But I don't see why his particular intellect would be overstressed uh, by having other creatures in other parts of the universe that had that same relationship. It would make a certain amount of sense uh, in terms of the economy of the whole thing, although I know that's not an argument that one should apply to God, uh, for him to have had some other parallel plans, not just homo sapiens on planet Earth. I'd be interested to know how that all works, but it in no way would upset the apple cart of my faith. It would expand my understanding of God in a certain way and it wouldn't change it in others. Clearly, there's a bimodal answer to this question. It's one or the other. It's either there is life in the universe other than Earth, or there's not. Now, it may be, it's hard, you can't prove negative evidence, but go way into the future, and it'll be one way or the other. Do you see a decision, do you see a reality of either there's life in the universe beyond Earth or not, either way as affecting your faith? It really doesn't. If there is life now, if there's life in the future, again, I see God's hand in everything around us, including the whole universe. If it suited his purposes, not just to have one planet that could sustain life that would give rise to intelligence, fine. I don't, I don't see any reason to be shaken or to object to that at all. But what about if there isn't life in the universe and it is only on Earth, which some non-believing scientists seem to indicate? I mean, that's one of the arguments. Yeah. That would mean that the biological processes have only occurred once. Does that make sense? I guess in a certain way, if we are alone, then the uniqueness by which life came about in the first place uh, has a new context to it, that it was not something that could have necessarily happened without some help. You might make that argument if it only happened once. I'd be a little uneasy about that <laughs> argument. Uh, the universe, for all of its enormity, is not infinite. If you consider that the origin of life was an extremely improbable event just in order to get a self-replicating organism going out of what was not, uh, then you could sort of put the math together and say, you know, the probability is that zero or one such events <laughs> might have occurred in the entire course of 14 billion years. And that would say nothing for or against whether God had a hand in it or whether finding other life forms on other planets uh, should be relevant to the question of God's existence. A hundred thousand years, we're coming back here. We're going to have the same discussion. We'll see what your opinion is then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be glad to be here for that. I hope you can arrange it. <laughs>